let's take a look at the uh, at the markets here this morning. We have a nice push up on a running ATR. Remember, uh, what we want to do is we want to see. Uh, I have two uh, ATRs in the room. I have a longer ATR and a shorter ATR. So we really started moving here with trend. Um, started moving up, and we have our longer ATR suggesting that we look for retracement trading. So here's a retracement trade, and here's a retracement trade. We have two trades set up so far this morning. They will fire triangles. You can change them to any color that you want. Uh, we do have an indicator and a strategy that does this on your own computer on any market. So there is a retracement trade inside of a running ATR. Remember, ATR suggests that we are going in a vertical market, not a uh, flat market. If the ATR is yellow, then we are in a flat, um, a flat environment, and when it turns green, we are in a vertical movement. So what we want to try to do is we want to try to get into these uh, uh, setups when we have a running ATR. If you look at a chart, I have three running ATRs on my side chart here that I look at. And uh, this is a longer ATR into two shorter ATRs. You can see that we've had some nice retracement trading here this morning. A big one there, a big one there. Real tight stop on the 11 ATR. Um, here's an 18, here's a 23. Um, in the trading room, I do show a 23 and 11, um, and we're looking for a retracement trading. Uh, when, once you get inside of the shorter ATR, if you do get a retracement set up like this, you have a very defined stop, very defined stop, high reward with a, a low, lower risk because the stop is now a close outside of the shorter ATR. So if you get a set up inside of here, then this is your running stop until you close outside. So your fill is going to be the 44, and it got as high as what uh, 48, a four-point S&P potential move, just on this move up, and then we could close outside the shorter-term ATR. This momentum play here would be out on a close outside of the ATR, and you look for a setup like a WPT that happened yesterday. We had what four WPTs in a row yesterday, which I'll go over in a sec. But um, you look for a deeper retracement and look for a WPT catching the rolling position traders at this point right here. Uh, we did have a dual ATR trade, so let me mark this up first. This is a retracement setup. These are retracement trades inside of a longer ATR. Retracement setups with defined risk. So those are retracement setups. Now, when the second ATR started printing right here, the second ATR started printing at this level. That's our second ATR start printing with momentum. You can enter on a momentum basis or an ATR um, second ATR basis. And if you want to wait till you get momentum in the market, that would be a dual ATR entry. Some traders will like to go right when the first dot, dot, dot prints. You can wait till the momentum comes in if you'd like. That's a dual ATR trade setup, one of our setups that I went over in a couple of videos. So we have a dual ATR inside of a running ATR. The shorter ATR starts printing again. What you want to see is you want to see it stop printing and start reprinting. So uh, you can see this tells us we had a breakout here from our ATR. Uh, we had a running ATR on our longer term. Shorter term showed a little pullback. And then right when she broke out, this is a breakout, and we start printing here again. Uh, Two ATR entry would be that exact uh, bar. Now, what you can do is you can have your stop can be, once you get in at this close of this bar, your stop right there, your stop can be below two, bar, two bars back if you want a real small defined stop. So we can go here if you want, or you can just ride the ATR until we close outside the ATR. Now, if it's easier for you to see the close outside the ATR, you don't have to use candlesticks. You go to data. We go to open, high, low, and close. And then you can see the closes are a lot easier to see. If I blow that up, now you can see we close outside of the shorter ATR right here for a defined trade. So if you got long at this level, your runner, if you got long on this bar, your runner would be all the way to here. All right? You can take half the position off and let it run, or if you do multiple contracts, scale, and then that's your defined risk, and then your defined profit, and then here would be there also. So it, you don't have to use candlesticks. You can use the um, open, high, low, and close under chart style. A lot of traders like to use that. I show the candlestick in the room. 
Um, but you can do anything that you want to do. But those are that, that's a defined setup that we have in a room. We have a dual ATR setup when a shorter ATR starts printing inside a longer ATR. Um, that is a setup. We have retracement trades. The triangles will print on a pullback inside the running ATR uh, and so on. So those are very neat trades that we can pop in ourselves into. The dual ATR trade is also a momentum trade. Um, so that will be another setup you can do. Now, the WPTs that happened yesterday, I'll show you the WPTs. We have quite a bit of them. These are WPT trades. Now, what they are, those are those are uh, pullbacks with inside of a trend. So we can see that we started here with our, uh, short, our longer term ATR start printing green. So we said, hey, look for trade setups. Start printing green here. Start printing green in our shorter term. So look for trade setups. These are deeper pullbacks. Deeper pullbacks are right on top of support, right on top of support, right on top of support. You have an offset color. Uh, you have an offset color speed bar <clears throat> that will print right on the ATR. This is really nice because it lets you know that a close outside the ATR or the sim dots here would negate the trade, and you would not. Uh, you have defined risk. They can tell all of them worked out really nice. Um, and it worked out quite well. That's a WPT, catching the wrongly position traders on a deep retracement. So you will not get those on a shorter term uh, ATR. You get them on your longer ATR. So what we'll do this morning is you'll want to see a WPT form right here. All right, we don't see WPT form inside the shorter ATR. We see them form on the running longer ATR or like a 23 or 25 because that's a deeper pullback. So this is where we want to see it. We want to see it happen. We want to see an opposite color speed bar at that level. All right, so we're looking for dual ATR trade setups inside of this ATR still. So if it starts printing again and we start going north again and we have our smaller ATR that starts printing again, we'll wait for a momentum bar to pop us in, turn green, and it will give us another trade setup this morning. Uh, we'll also, if we get back up, uh, another running ATR inside the shorter one starts running. We can look for a retracement trade. And then the deeper retracement, we can look for the uh, WPT as we approach this level right here.